Hello everybody, it's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be a reading for my water signs. So this is going to be for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and I'm focusing on the energies in and around you for the week ahead. Keep in mind timing and energy is fluid and not every reading is going to be for you so do take what resonates leave the rest and keep in mind i could be talking directly to a cross watcher i don't normally say that so that is um coming up for somebody out there watching um if you have not yet do feel free to hit that subscribe button um to join the channel to help grow the channel and um let's jump in and see what kind of message needs to come through for my water signs for the week ahead please Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What energies need to come through for my water signs, please, for the week ahead? What energies need to come through for water? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Forgiveness. So I do believe um, this is a time of forgiveness, releasing the past. And I feel you're definitely needing to access your personal willpower when it comes to this energy of forgiveness. That's too many. We're going to try that again. What else needs to come through for my water signs? I feel a lot of heavy emotions. My heart chakra is feeling very heavy and like a, like a tugging in my solar plexus. So I do feel it, it is great strength to offer forgiveness. I do believe um, transformations are taking place this beautiful uncaging energy, perhaps even like an ego death, a rebirth energy. And all of this, I feel, is to restore your personal um, passion for life again. Oh, geez. The cards are definitely um, not very cooperative today. So perhaps you're dealing with um, some very chaotic energy. And it is through um, chaos and conflict that we can truly embrace the energy of transformation. And perhaps that is why forgiveness is needed. Um, we do have friendship that came out with commitment. So I do believe you are being asked to really commit to a spiritual path. Perhaps this transformation is bringing in a committed partnership. And I do feel um, a lot of this has to do with healing friendships. Perhaps you are shifting out of one social circle into another water signs. And all of this, I do feel, is to restore your personal sense of empowerment. So let's see what other energies need to come through for my water signs, please, for the week ahead. Um, what other messages need to come through for my water signs? <laughs> bearing fruit so i do believe in the energy of forgiveness that is going to allow you to restore a sense of abundance in your life i do believe um these um roots are very very deep i feel this connection that you have with this committed partnership really is bringing you into some uncharted territory water signs what else needs to come through for my water signs please opening to discovery and that's right paired with transformation so this is really beautiful energy um water signs i feel you're really tapping into some unlimited um energy within your heart chakra and the energy of forgiveness really is going to allow you to um turn the key to really step into your true authenticity this week oh my god um water signs i'm thinking you have a lot going on and they want me to take it. So I do feel with feeling the world, I do feel um, you're likely very empathic water signs. And this is also with 13, which is that death, that rebirth energy. And I feel through this transformation process, you really are gaining a higher perspective in life. Wow, waking the lion. So I do believe um, a deep level of awakening is taking place for my water signs this week. Definitely awakening genius which is that spiritual transformation. Both of these are karmic numbers, 29 and 19. So I do believe a lot of karma is playing out this week. Karmic debt in regards to past lives. And I feel with the land between, you are getting ready to cross to cross the threshold, to cross the bridge, and you're definitely needing to make a power move this week in regards to taking back your personal power. And I do believe all of this is rooted in your soul's um, purpose, with the power of purpose. So, wow, water signs. Let's see what else needs to come out with the tarot. For my water signs, please, for the week ahead, what messages need to come through 
for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead. What is going on with my water signs, please? Tell me more, please, about my water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow, we have the fool. <laughs> so you're definitely needing to take that leap of faith to jump into the unknown because I do believe brand new doors are opening. You are, you are ready to jump into a brand new cycle, moving on to calmer waters, leaving any of the mental pain and anguish behind. What else needs to come through for my water signs, please? Wow, 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 wow. Okay, we have <laughs> the Prince of Swords. So um, this is speaking about a lot of fast-paced communication as somebody wanting to rush in. That is the sort of truth. This could also mean, you know, harsh communication, um, leaving, leaving something behind that really has caused a lot of... Um, combative energy because before the six we have the five i feel you are getting ready to start something brand new the ace of pentacles right below the fool we also have the ten of pentacles as the central energy surrounding water signs this week we do have the seven of swords reversed the two of swords i feel if you have been blocking some truth or communication I feel it's time to release those blockages this week, water sign, because the universe is trying to bring in a brand new abundant beginning. I think perhaps you are needing to offer somebody an apology, and I feel there's been a lot of juggling. Twos are all about decisions, so it's decision time. It's time to make a judgment call in regards to this empress energy, so you very well could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, water signs. I see strong Taurus here. Um, I see Aries with the Fool. Um, but that's really what I see for signs. But I do believe somebody definitely can see um, a permanent um, solid foundation with this Empress energy. And there's a need to release any juggling. I think there's a need to get really honest with yourself, water signs, um, to allow anything that you know has really held you back to come to the surface. I feel lies are being exposed um, in this energy this week for my water signs. And I feel these lies, you know, have been blocked. You, maybe somebody's been blocking their emotions. But I feel, um, even though I don't see the tower here, I feel a towering energy when it comes to, to this brand new beginning. And I do feel commitment is on the table this week with the Empress. And I feel somebody is kind of going back and forth, wishy-washy, not sure how they are going to be received by this Empress. The Empress also likely has many, many options. The Empress truly is um, the queen of all queens. This is unconditional love. This is a very abundant energy. The Empress truly can grow anything. The Empress is abundant all on her own. The Empress doesn't chase. So this Empress energy is waiting. And I think she's waiting for an apology. Um, so take that how it resonates. I do see with the Princess of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Wow. With the King of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Now we do have the Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, the Sun. Two of Cups. Oh my gosh. Ace of Wands. So... I do feel an opportunity to start fresh, to start new with a clean slate this week, water signs. And I do feel with the Ten of Cups, um, this could also indicate a twin flame connection. But I do feel um, this, is a, this is going to be a commitment where it involves um, a life purpose together. And I do feel a lot of communication. And I think perhaps somebody's definitely been working on their stability, their finances, um, really um, pondering what it is that they want to put their energy in um, when it comes to building this solid foundation and taking um, a creative uh, endeavor and growing it into something um, and doing this all within a committed partnership because I do feel a deep spiritual connection is coming forward after a level of deep transformation. And I feel there's a need for you to take back your personal power. I think somebody's definitely been working on their pentacles without a doubt before coming forward with this communication. But I see a couple of aces here. Wow. And the chariot with the strength. And I do feel a lot of this is stemming around the full moon cycle. Um, that Aquarius full moon as we get, get ready to go into Leo season. So I see a lot of energy here now. I do see um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius a couple of times. I see Cancer, um, 
Cancer, what else do I see here? I don't see Cancer. Yeah, I do with the chariot. I see Cancer, Leo. Leo, um, so you could be dealing with a fire sign, especially with the Fool and Aries, but it doesn't have to be. It can be any signs any sign. I do feel um, a, a lot of authenticity in this energy and I feel perhaps there was um, an energy of needing to offer forgiveness when it comes to any inauthenticity, inauthentic energy in the past when it comes to any lying and deceiving. So I do feel an opportunity to heal a deep spiritual connection. I do see the possibility of a spiritual union. Somebody's definitely going to need to gather their emotions and be prepared for an arrival or um, making a power move this week. Water signs. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Let's get um, one last message for my water signs. Busy times, multitasking. So I do believe a huge clearing when it comes to negative energy. If you have been worried and, and burdened um, over coming forward or um, receiving this apology. I think you're needing to release any worries. Release them to the angels and the guides. Because I think um, you are definitely going to be stepping into some very busy time. Um, you're definitely going to need to honestly assess um, what it is that you, you want to put into motion. Because I feel as you really step into this um, union and this purposeful filled life, you're really going to be busy. Um, so you're really going to need to manage your time. Um, and I think that it's just time for you to really tap into all of these um, multifaceted layers of self as you go through this transformation. With the Waking the Lion, I feel this is a very powerful connection. I feel there's a masculine that's getting ready to awaken um, the beast within to be able to come forward and offer this apology to this empress energy so that's what i have for my water signs for the week ahead what a powerful message um feel free to check out the information box below there you will find my email if you would like to reach out to book a personal reading and i look forward to seeing you all next time thank you